Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we're going to solve this problem of four kissing circles. What I mean by kissing is that any two circles intersect each other at only one point. The radii of the three smaller circles are 1cm, 2cm, and 3cm respectively. We're going to find the radius of the largest circle, which is RCM. To start with, we denote the centers of the three circles by A, B, and C. For the points of contact, we call them D, E, and F. Is there any relation between these six points? Let's check it out. Because any two circles touch each other, therefore they share the same tangent at the points of contact. There are the three red lines in the figure. Using the reason tangent perpendicular to the radius, we can say that ADB, BEC, and CFA are all straight lines. So we have constructed triangle ABC. Now let's check out the length of the sides. We mark down the radii of the three circles in the figure. Then AB is equal to 1 plus 2, which is 3cm. AC is equal to 1 plus 3, which is 4cm. And BC is equal to 2 plus 3, which is 5cm. What's so special about the lengths 3, 4, and 5? Well, probably you might notice that it's the famous right angled triangle. Let's prove it quickly. Because AB square plus AC square is equal to 25, and BC square is also equal to 25. Therefore, the sum of squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the longest side. That means angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees, and the reason is converse of Pythagoras' theorem. Remember this important result, we shall use it later. Up to this point, we have nearly all the information about the three smaller circles. What about the largest one? Let O be the center of the largest circle. The points of contact are called G, H, and I. As the four circles touch each other, they share the common tangents, which are the green lines in the figure. By tangent perpendicular to radius again, O, A, G, O, B, H, and O, C, I, they are all straight lines. What are the lengths of O, A, O, B, and O, C? In the coming three figures, the large radius R is in red. The radii of the three small circles are blue, while the lengths between the centers O, A, B, and C they are marked in green. For O, A is equal to O, G minus A, G, which is R minus 1, C, M. Likewise, we have O, B is equal to O, H minus B, H, which is R minus 2, C, M. Next, O, C is equal to O, I minus C, I, which is R minus 3, C, M. So we have the lengths of OA, OB, and OC in terms of R. Now let's look at the quadrilateral OBAC. Remember that in the introduction of the video, AB is equal to 3CM and AC is equal to 4CM. How to solve for the radius R? Let's draw the line OP perpendicular to AB and the line OQ perpendicular to AC. We have constructed a red rectangle OPAQ. We call AP equals to XCM and AQ is equal to YCM. Well, we have three unknowns X, Y, and R in total. How can we proceed? To solve for them, we need three equations. And as you can see, there are so many right angles in the figure. We can make use of Pythagoras' theorem. Let's figure out all the lengths of the sides first. The two blue sides PB is equal to 3 minus XCM and QC is equal to 4 minus YCM. For the two pairs of opposite sides of the rectangle, OP is equal to AQ which is YCM and OQ is equal to AP which is XCM. So we are ready to look at three right angled triangles. The first one is the red triangle OAP. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to r minus 1 whole squared. We call it equation 1. The second one is the green triangle OBP. 3 minus x whole squared plus y squared is equal to r minus 2 whole squared. We call it equation 2. The third one is the blue triangle OCQ. 
x square plus 4 minus y whole square is equal to r minus 3 whole square. We call it equation 3. We have done everything about geometry. Let's look at the algebra. We have set up three equations in three unknowns x, y, and r. How to find the value of r? We need to eliminate the two unknowns x and y. Let's subtract equation 1 by equation 2 to get rid of y. Using the perfect square identity, a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square, then we get this. Cancel out the x square terms and r square term on both sides, and make x as the subject of the equation. We have x is equal to r plus 3 over 3. We create equation 4. Let's do the same for another unknown. Subtract equation 1 by equation 3 to get rid of x. Expand and simplify. The steps are almost the same as the previous one. We have y is equal to r plus 2 over 2. We create equation 5. Great! We get two nice and simple equations 4 and 5. The two unknowns x and y are both in terms of r. Now, we can put them in equation 1 so that there's only one unknown r, which is r plus 3 over 3 whole square plus r plus 2 over 2 whole square is equal to r minus 1 whole square. Multiply the whole equation by 36 so that there are no more fractions. Then, we have 4 times r plus 3 whole square plus 9 times r plus 2 whole square is equal to 36 times r minus 1 whole square. Apart from the previous identity, you should also use this one. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. After simplification, we get a quadratic equation 23r square minus 132r minus 36 is equal to 0. If you have watched another episode of 4 Kissing Circles, you may find that this equation looks really similar to the one you've seen before. If you didn't watch that, go check it out in the suggested link above. Go back to the original equation. Now, we can use cross method to factorize it. So, it's equal to 23r plus 6 times r minus 6 equals 0. Therefore, r is equal to 6 or negative 6 over 23, which is rejected as length must be positive. So, the radius of the largest circle is 6cm. We can compare this result with the one about the smallest one in between the three given circles. When we solve the two equations, the roots differ by a negative sign only. So we can see that these are the two sides of a coin. If you want to know more interesting geometry problems, please check out the videos and the playlist shown on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in the next video.